Hi, welcome to this video series on SMT solvers. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to solve an optimization problem using SMT solver like Z3, for example. So the, let's get into the problem. The problem is simple, like an oil company wants to uh, deliver a contract um, to transport, uh, say, 100,000 liters of gasoline. Okay. And uh, they have two types of uh, delivery mechanisms. One is a tanker, another is a trailer that you can attach to a tanker. A tanker can carry 2,400 liters, while a trailer can carry 2,200 liters. Okay. And you cannot send them partially filled, so, so that's the constraint. You're, you're, you have to fill full. And uh, uh, the goal is to find the least number of tankers required to fulfill the contract. Okay. There is another constraint, of course, that you cannot just send a trailer alone, right? Because a trailer is something attached to a tanker. All right, so, um, so how do we solve this problem? We can actually solve it easily by uh, using a simple linear equation, right? This is a simple linear equation with two variables. So we can say X is the number of uh, tankers and Y is the number of trailers. So what we have is basically 2,400 uh, liters in each uh, tanker. That means X tankers will have X, uh, 2,400 plus X uh, times X plus 2,200 uh, times Y. Okay, Y is the number of trailers, X is the number of tankers that should give us 100,000 liters of, uh, of uh, gasoline. Okay, 1,000, 10,000, and 100,000. And uh, we need to satisfy more constraints. We need to make sure our X's and Y's are, uh, are, um, are non negative, right? And um, we also make sure that X is greater than or equal to Y. The reason is that X is the number of uh, tankers and Y is the number of trailers. Um, we cannot send the trailer alone, we need a tanker. So this is basically the model, which we can solve it using uh, linear uh, different uh, equations, right? Linear, um, I don't know how to pronounce his name properly, but anyway, different, different time, maybe? Okay, anyway, uh, different time equation. This is basically a linear different time equation, which we can solve it easily, um, using extended equilibrium algorithm, for example. I have shown in my previous segment how to manually solve such equations. Uh, but today, the goal is not just solve this equation to find x and y, but we need to find a small x and small y, right? Or, or small x, rather. They want to find this, the least number of tankers, okay? That's the goal. So we want our x to be minimum as well. Uh, how do we solve this? It turned out that this problem can be easily solved with, uh, with the help of an SMT solver that I'm going to show now next, okay? So I codified this in uh, Z3. Uh, you, you may consider using Z3 or any other solver that you like, uh, which all you need is an optimization engine. So um, you can model this using uh, Z3 as follows. Uh, you need to create symbolic variables, X and Y. X stands for the number of tankers, Y stands for the number of uh, trailers. Uh, this is a new syntax. We need to be able to init initialize an optimization engine because this is an optimization problem. And we add the constraint, okay, which is coming straight from the problem statement. Uh, and then we, we ask the Z3 solver to find a minimum value for X because our goal is to minimize the number of tankers. And we ask the Z3, did you find a solution? If it is uh, uh, able to find one, we, uh, we print the model. Model means in this case, the values of X and Y, okay? Which means number of tankers and the number of trailers. That's basically it. Okay, let's get this thing running, okay? Python, um, trucker and trailer. So it found that the min number of tankers must be 27 and the number of trailers is 16. So we can, we can easily check. Um, I haven't really checked the answer is correct, but it's oh, <laughs> Python. Um, 27 times uh, 2,400, right? Uh, plus, okay, let's see. Plus 20, uh, plus 16 times uh, 2,200. Okay, let's print this value. Yeah, 100,000. So it works. So it found the minimum number of tankers and trailers. By the way, this is not the only solution. There are more solutions. But uh, the fact that we said show us only the min, um, you see here, we, we asked only for min, right? If you remove this min, or if, if you remove this uh, uh, if statement by a while statement, you'll find other solutions. But they, they, now, they need not be, uh, um, uh, the minimum solution that you're seeking for. So that's the reason I only put an if statement to print only one solution for which X is the minimum. Okay, so that's basically it. Thank you.